ओके गाइस नाउ लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट जीनोमिक इम्प्रिंटिंग सी व्हाट इज द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ इम्प्रिंटिंग जीनोमिक इम्प्रिंटिंग सी फर्स्ट लेट्स डिस्कस व्हाट इज नॉर्मल सर ओके नाउ इमेजिन देर इज क्रोमोजोम ओके देर इज अ क्रोमोजोम फॉर एग्जाम्पल क्रोमोजोम नंबर टेन इलेवन आर समथिंग फॉर एग्जाम्पल दिस इज क्रोमोजोम नंबर वन दिस इज ऑल्सो क्रोमोजोम नंबर वन सो इन ईच एंड एवरी सेल यू हैव टू क्रोमोजोम्स ओके वन क्रोमोजोम फ्रॉम मदर वन क्रोमोजोम फ्रॉम फादर ओके दिस नंबर वन क्रोमोजोम यू विल गेट इट फ्रॉम मदर एज वेल एज फ्रॉम द फादर ओके सो सेम क्रोमोजोम्स ओके हियर देर इज अ जीन फॉर एग्जाम्पल देर इज अ जीन फॉर कलर at the same locus here also there is a gene for the color okay here is a gene for the color here is a gene for the color so at the same locus same genes are there now for example mother is coding for light colored skin father is coding for the dark colored skin okay see both are functional both are active whatever the gene is dominant or i should say whatever the allele that is dominant here the gene is for the color there are two alleles light color allele dark color allele so whatever the allele that is dominant only that allele will be expressed okay so the boy is going to be either dark or fair according to the which allele is dominant most of the time black okay black allele is dominant that's what i'm saying so this is what mendel said to allele will be will be there whatever is dominant it will be expressed that phenotype will be expressed but what is genomic imprinting is yes there are two alleles but certain alleles are absolutely silenced there is something called as silencing gene silencing because of the process of methylation for easy understanding purpose let me show you the chromosome number 15 okay this is chromosome number 15 from mother the same chromosome number 15 from father okay this is chromosome 15 this is also chromosome 15 now on the chromosome number 15 for example in this area i am showing now here the allele is present here the allele is present but this gene whatever i am saying this gene is called as a snorb gene okay snorb gene this snorb gene in the mother is always silenced because of the process of methylation always this gene on the mother's chromosome maternal chromosome is always silenced it is not going to be expressed who is going to be expressed only only the paternal snorb genes are expressed is a paternal snorb genes are expressed this is not something given by the mendel mendel said two alleles will be there okay same gene two alleles will be there whatever it is dominant it will be expressed here also same thing the gene is snorb gene so allele which is present on the mother is always silenced and this snorb gene is only only expressed from the paternal gene so it is silenced because of the methylation process it is silenced acetylation is going to activate the genes methylation is going to inhibit so silencing in the same way again i am talking about a different set of genes now different type of genes on the same chromosome number 15 look this is 15 from the mother 15 from the father okay maternal and this is paternal now there is one more gene which is called as a ub e 3a ub e 3a gene now this gene is also present on the father as well as the mother okay maternal paternal it's there but look the paternal okay the paternal is silenced now because of methylation because of the methylation process okay this side i have it written it like this right okay let me follow the code see it's male female so now look this ube3a gene where it is silenced a ube3a gene is silenced in the father because of methylation silenced so now tell me ube3a gene is only only expressed in the mother but snorb gene is only only expressed in the father now we'll discuss about two diseases okay the first disease that i'm going to discuss which will occur because of the genomic imprinting it is called as 
see whatever i have discussed now this is so far it is absolutely physiological this is physiological i am going to discuss about the diseases what are they the first disease is called as a praderelli praderelli syndrome so what is the problem with the praderelli syndrome see in praderelli syndrome look the snorp genes are only only expressed in the father okay only in the father the snorp genes are going to be expressed they are only function in the father what happens if you lose this chromosome if you lose this chromosome you lost that chromosome is deleted so deletion of paternal 15 okay so right deletion of paternal 15 chromosome number 15 especially p arm here i am showing out on the q arm but it's a p arm okay paternal 15 p lost so deletion of paternal 15 so now tell me imagine there is this person in him the snorp genes are only only active in the paternal chromosomes that paternal chromosome he lost now he is having maternal chromosome but it is non functional it is silenced so he is going to manifest the disease so those genes which are only only active on the paternal chromosomes are lost the maternal genes are there but they are silenced so this condition is going to cause a praderelli syndrome so this is the one reason for the praderelli syndrome most of the time this will show up in your exam especially for the competitive exams like neat pg exams now one more thing you have to know say in praderelli syndrome what is the like you know what is the other condition which can lead to the praderelli syndrome other cause for the praderelli syndrome is maternal disomy okay maternal disomy 15 maternal disomy 15 what does i mean by see in each and every cell okay in each and every cell we have two chromosomes 15 15 chromosome from father 15 chromosome from mother one should be coming from father one should be coming from mother what if during the gametogenesis process during fertilization process what happened is now this baby he got two 15 number chromosomes okay two 15 number chromosomes only from the mother this is called as a maternal disomy 15 one should be coming from father one should be coming from the mother but now what's happening here the two maternal chromosomes are coming two 15 number chromosomes are coming from the mother this is called as a maternal disomy of chromosome number 15 so that will also cause prader will obviously no doubt because there is no 15th chromosome 15 chromosome is not there from the father so no active genes prader will syndrome will occur okay in the same way the next disease that i want to discuss here is called as a engelmann syndrome So it's very simple. How I used to remember is angel is like mom, mom is like an angel. Prader Willi paternal, Prader Willi paternal 15 deletion, Prader Willi paternal 15 deletion. Something related to the father. The father related genes are gone. Paternal 15 number chromosome is lost. Angel, angel is the mother. Okay. So what happens in Angelman syndrome is, see, I have explained you here. UBE3 a gene. UBE3 a gene is only only functional in mother. Look, it's only only functional in mother. Now what if you lose this maternal chromosome number 15? So deletion of maternal 15. Okay. so right deletion of maternal chromosome number 15 gone it's gone so it can lead to the angelman syndrome one more possibility is there by this time you should like you know at least um, think about it sir you will get chromosome number 15 from from mother one from father one from mother one from father what if you get it both from the father the sperm is bringing 250 number chromosomes you are getting both the chromosome from father itself okay so that is paternal disomy 15 paternal disomy 15 both 15 number chromosomes are coming from the father if you get both the chromosomes from the father see father ub3 a genes are already silenced so active genes are not there so active ub3 a genes are not there no, no transcription no translation so proteins are not going to be formed so that will lead to which which condition engelmann syndrome engelmann syndrome now this baby look this baby is having angel uh, sorry praderelli syndrome this fellow is having the praderelli syndrome so in praderelli syndrome let me write the clinical features okay praderelli fellow he is having which clinical features sir first of all look he is having obesity he is obese so he is going to have short stature obesity he is going to eat more hyperphagia 
okay hypophagia is going to be seen if you look at his muscles there will be hypotonia he is going to have hypopigmentation okay hypopigmentation he is going to have a very low impulse control he cannot resist himself from doing the things okay low impulse control okay low impulse control okay so low impulse control he will be eating eating so that he will be obese so this is the Prader-Willi syndrome Prader-Willi paternal paternal 15 loss or maternal disomy 15 Prader-Willi simple which genes SNARP genes SNARP genes are silenced in the mother they are only active in the father next the syndrome that which I want to discuss is the Angelman syndrome already you know the etiology angel is a mother maternal 15 loss or paternal disomy 15 now the important point see if a, a person is having this Angelman syndrome see always this patients are having this characteristic weird smile is there so they are just like laughing dolls or they, they, these people are called as a happy puppets they are looking like a dolls which are always laughing so they are happy puppets so what else will be seen see in angel men's the, see the smile is there happy puppets these patients are going to have the scissors intellectual disability is going to be seen okay wide spaced tooth the tooth are going to be wide spaced with the scissors intellectual mental disability that happy face all these things are going to be seen okay so with this we have completed the topic of a genomic imprinting the two important disorders which will be uh, involved in the genomic imprinting is Prader Valley as well as Asian men's. Hope the video is helpful. Thank you.